Hey, this is Matt from Investaquan. Today is Thursday, September 29, 2022. Today is the GDP report. It will be out here in a little bit. Uh, it comes out at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time. So that'll be coming out today. And that's what we're going to be looking at in the Daily IQ today is what has happened historically on the day of the GDP report. Let me go ahead and get this uh, set up here. We've got all four instruments. Our setup is based upon entering long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time and exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time. Now, currently, we are trading lower, but I have no idea where we're going to be uh, following the GDP report and at the open of regular trading hours. So I'm going to leave the opening filter out. That's something you can come in and add on your own here, uh, just hitting opening filter and going up or down, or you can do prior uh, where we're opening relative to prior day range or pivots, whatever you want to use. Uh, you can use something from there. What I am going to be adding, though, for this test is a couple indicators and the GDP report. So first thing I'm going to do is go to indicators library. Yesterday closed below a 10-day simple moving average. I'm going to grab that from the active today and below a 200-day simple moving average. I got that from active today as well. You can see both of those have been added to the test. The next thing I need to do is go to the market events library. In the act of today, I'm going to click on GDP report that has been added to the test. Now I can click the results. All right, here we go. These are the results based upon entering the market long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern time, exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern time when it is the day of the GDP report and the prior session closed below a 10 and 200 day simple moving average. Historically, we have 22 samples here in the S&P. We've got 23 in the NASDAQ, 27 in the Dow, 28 in the Russell. If we look at the win rates on them, they are all skewed just a bit north of 60%. S&P coming in 64%, NASDAQ 61%, Dow 63%, Russell 64%. If we look at the average moves, fairly similar in size here for the S&P. The NASDAQ has a larger average win. The Dow uh, pretty similar in size and the Russell fairly similar in size there as well. So looks like the average moves up and down are roughly um, the same in all four instruments except, well, all three of the four instruments. The NASDAQ's the only one that um, is stronger on one side, and that's the average win being quite a bit larger. The others are pretty close, and the win rates are all skewed a little bit more towards the upside, historically speaking. Uh, and this win rate here is telling you what percentage of them have closed above the opening print for the day. So it uh, looks like these are all coming in a little bit north of 60%. Um, again, you can go in and add the opening filter closer to the open once we know which way we're going to be um, opening. I, I do know in some scenarios the up gaps are a little bit more bullish. So that's something you might want to look at. Uh, but that is today's Daily IQ. Hopefully you found it helpful. Good luck, and we will see you next time.